everyone, this is Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this Denver football cowl. Now, I called it the Denver football cowl because the yarn I used reminded me of the field when they're playing football and it begins to snow. And I used the orange and blue of the Denver Broncos. Now, you don't have to use these colors. And as a matter of fact, in the demonstration, we're going to be going all Boomer Sooners today. Where I'm also going to show you how to make this cute little football applique to add. And of course, there is a free crochet pattern on my blog. And you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So what you're going to need to make this cowl is some yarn that's a worsted weight number four yarn. All the yarns that we use on this project are worsted weight number four acrylic yarns. Now this green and white acrylic I purchased from Burnett a few years ago. And you can also find it with Red Heart Super Saver. They also have a white and green variegated. For today's demonstration, I'm just going to use a solid green so that you can see that you can make it out of any color that you want. Now, I like to stick to green because it reminds me of the football field. For today's demonstration, we're going to be going, like I said, all boomer sooners. So I'm going to be using crimson and cream for the color stripes in here. And then I'm going to be using a brown for the football. And I'll use this cream for the stripes on the football. We'll be stitching our cow today with an eye hook. And the eye hook is a nine, which is a 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in those ends and sewing on that football applique. And of course, you'll need your scissors. The cowl measures about 24 inches around and the length is only 7 inches. Now I'm going to explain to you how to make it bigger if you want a longer cowl. We're going to begin by stitching 84 foundation double crochets. Three foundation double crochets equal one inch. We're going to stitch four chains. Yarn over, put your hook through the fourth chain and pull up a loop. Yarn over and just go through the first loop. Yarn over, go through the second two, yarn over and go through the last two. Now our chain three counts is our first double crochet foundation. And then here's our first stitched double crochet foundation. And the reason we're starting with a double crochet foundation is it's going to give us a nice stretchy cow that will fit nicely. Yarn over, you're gonna go in that chain that you made. Yarn over and go through just the first loop. That's the chain that we're making. Now we're going to finish our double crochet. Basically what we are doing is we're stitching the chain and then we're stitching the double crochet. And you'll see as we work that it makes a nice stretchy band for our cowl. All right, I'm going to continue until I have 84 foundation double crochet stitches. Yarn over, go through the chain that we made, pull up a loop, yarn over and just go through that first loop, yarn over, go through the second two, yarn over and go through the last two. So 
So I'm going to continue stitching foundation, double crochets until I have 84 of them for the band on my cowl. If you've never done a foundation double crochet before, this is a great project to practice those. The more you do them, the better you'll get at them. That's why I always say practice makes confidence and we want to have confidence in our crochet skills. They look like double crochets with chains because that's what they are and it's nice and stretchy. So I, like I said, I'm just going to continue stitching foundation, double crochets till I have 84 foundation double crochets. I have stitched my 84 foundation double crochet stitches and now we're going to join this in a circle and you want to be very careful that it's not twisted or you'll have a twist in your cowl. All right, so we're going to put the two ends together. We're going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now, something that you'll notice is that you'll have an opening right there. And I'll show you how to close that with this tail when we get finished. All right, now for row two, we're going to do two double crochets, chain two, skip two, two double crochets. So our chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next double crochet. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and then stitch a double crochet in the next two. And that's what we're going to do all the way around this cow. Chain two, skip two, and then double crochet in the next two. chain two, skip two, and then one double crochet in the next two. And we'll complete this all the way around this row of the cow. This is row two, two double crochets, chain two, skip two, and then two double crochets, one in each of the next two. You'll notice that I have a stitch marker here. And something that I do when I'm going to do a long foundation beginning or even a long chain is rather than recounting my stitches, I'll put a stitch marker. And what I did for this one is I put a stitch marker on stitch 40 because I knew I needed 84 and then that would tell me where to go next. Just a little thing that I do to help me with the counting at the beginning to get my stitch counts correct. So I'm going to continue around stitching one double crochet in the next two, chain two, skip two, one double crochet in the next two, all the way around my cowl, and then we'll join to the top of the chain three where we started.
I completed row two of doing two double crochets, chain two, skip two, all the way around. Here's my last two stitches to skip and my chain two. So I'm going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch in that next double crochet and then slip stitch into the chain two space and then do my chain three. Alrighty, now what we're going to do, make another double crochet in that chain two space and then we'll chain two. And what we're going to do for this row is we'll put two double crochets in the chain two space and chain two. And we'll do this all the way around our cow. Two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces with the chain two between. We'll do this all the way around this row and then again we'll join to the top of that first chain three. So I finished row three, two double crochets in the chain two space, chain two all the way around. We're going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch again. Then we'll slip stitch in that next double crochet and then slip stitch in the chain two space and chain three. Alrighty, so what we're going to be doing on the next two rows is the same as what we did on row three. Two double crochets in the chain two space and chain two all the way around for two more rows so that we have a total of four rows of this granny square style rows. There we go. So we'll be repeating row three on row four and row five of our cowl. So I've stitched my four rows. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three. And I'm going to leave my green yarn attached and I'm going to bring in my cream color yarn. And remember, you can choose any school or team colors that you want to here. And what we're going to do is chain two. There we go. We'll stitch a half double crochet in the next double crochet. And then we'll stitch two half double crochets in the chain two space. And so the way that this row will work is we'll stitch a half double crochet in each of the double crochets. Then we'll stitch two half double crochets There we go, in the chain two space. Now we're leaving the green attached and we'll just trail that up the back because we'll be ending with our green again on our cow. Okay, let me move my green so I can get to my cream here. Alrighty, so what we're doing is one half double crochet in each double crochet and two half double crochets in each of the chain two spaces around. There we go. 
I'm finding this cream yarn is just a little bit splitty. So I've got to be careful. My hook's getting caught a little bit. All right, so we're going to do this all the way around this row. And when we get back around here, we'll join to that chain two. So one half double crochet in each double crochet and two half double crochets in each chain two space. I completed this row of one half double crochet all the way around. I'm going to join to the top of that chain two. And again, I'm going to leave my cream color yarn attached and join in my red or my crimson for my boomer sooners. Alrighty, we're going to snug those down and we're going to chain three because we're going to be stitching a row of double crochets. And so what we're doing is on this row, we're stitching one double crochet in each of the half double crochets. There we go. One double crochet in each half double crochet around. And then we'll join to the top of this chain three. And then we'll do another row of the half double crochets. So just to repeat one double crochet in each half double crochet around, then join to the top of the first chain three. I completed the row of double crochet in the half double crochets. So I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch and I'm going to cut off the red one because we're done. And when I decided to do this in crimson and cream, I didn't realize how much it would look like a Christmas cow, but it does and I think that's cute. All right, we're gonna join our cream color back in. Snug that down in the back. And we're going to do another row of half double crochets. So we'll just stitch a half double crochet in each of the double crochets. If your team has three colors, like say it has blue and gold and white or purple, gold and I don't know, black, you can do three colors if you want to. This is just a fun way to get the colors of your school or favorite team on your cow. All right, so we're just gonna continue to stitch one half double crochet in each of those double crochets. And again, our green yarn is still attached because after we're done with this row, we're going to go back to using green yarn. I completed that second row of half double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of that chain two. And we're going to cut off our cream or that second color. And we're done with those two colors. Now we're going to bring back in our green. Here it is back here. We'll just bring it right back up. Snug that one down and chain three.
Alrighty, now we're going to go back to doing what we did down here. So we'll put a double crochet in the next stitch. We'll chain two. We'll skip the next two stitches and stitch one double crochet in the next two. So we're going back to the granny style that we did on the other side. I chain two, skip two, one double crochet in the next two. There we go. We're doing exactly like we did down here, only we're doing it up here now, because we want to have this granny square style look on both sides of our cow. So I chain two, skip two, one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, one, two, and one double crochet in each of the next two. And we'll do this all the way around, setting back up our granny square style stitches. So I've done the granny square style stitches again, two double crochets, chain two, skip two, all the way around. I join to the top of the chain three. I'm going to slip stitch in that next double crochet and then in the chain two space and chain three. And we're going to repeat what we did on this end for three rows so that we have four rows like we do here. One, two, three, four. And we want four rows just like this side on this side. So we're going to again repeat two double crochets in the chain two space, chain two. Two double crochets in the chain two space, chain two. And we'll do this for three more rows so that we have four rows of the granny square style stitches on both sides. Two double crochets, chain two in each of the chain two spaces, join to the top of the chain three, then slip stitch to the next chain two space and repeat so that we have four rows of granny square style stitches. As you can see, I have completed those four rows on this side so that they look the same as this side. And the last thing we need to do is join to the top of our chain three, chain three, and then we're going to place a double crochet in each double crochet and, a, and two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces so that we have a nice edge or band on our cowl. So what we're doing is one double crochet in each double crochet and two double crochets in each chain two space. For our last row, then we'll join to the top of our chain three and we'll tie off and then I'll show you how to weave in all your ends. I completed my row of double crochet, placing one double crochet in each double crochet and two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces. I joined to the chain three and now I'm going to cut my yarn. We'll pull that to the back and tie off. Now, before we go any farther, let's flip our cowl wrong side out. And the 
Next thing that we're going to deal with is this little opening where we first began. And all you do is thread that tail of yarn on your needle and then just make a couple of loop stitches to close that up. And then I just sort of weave it in like that. And cut that off. Now we have a few other ones we need to weave in, but one thing that helped us out is we carried our cream here, or our second color, and our first color, which is our green, across. So we don't have to weave those in. So we just have to take our needle and weave in these few and then this green one up here. And I'm going to do this real quick and get it all neat and tidy. And then I'm going to show you how to make the little football applique and sew it onto our cowl. All right, I've got my brown yarn and my ice hook. We're still using our 5.50 millimeter. Made our slip knot and chain four. We're going to join this in a circle. So we'll take the tail and pull it through that loop and snug that down. Make that little stay knot. And now we're going to stitch right in that loop a chain three. And then we're going to stitch nine more double crochets. And this will give us 10 double crochets because we're counting that chain three as our first double crochet. Let's see how many I've got. Here's my chain three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more. We'll join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch. So now we have 10 double crochets. We're going to single crochet in that first stitch. We're going to half double crochet in the next. Then we're going to stitch three double crochets in the next double crochet. One half double crochet in the next, and then single crochet in the next. So that's one side of our football. All right, so now we're going to repeat on this side what we did on this side. So one single crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next, three double crochets in the next double crochet, one, two, and three. Then we'll half double crochet in the next and finish with a single crochet. And then join to that first single crochet. And there's our football. Now we're going to cut off our yarn, but we're going to leave a little bit on there, about 12, maybe 16 inches. So we can use that to sew onto 
our cowl. I'm going to go ahead and pull that string to the back. But our little football needs a little bit of stitching, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and weave in this short one and then I'll thread the needle with some of that cream and we'll make it look like a little football. So I've got my cream yarn here. I'm going to thread it onto my needle. And to make our football look like a little football, we're going to just go right up in the bottom of that middle double crochet on one side. We'll leave us some yarn there. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make some straight stitches going right across the top. So now we have that little line and then we're just going to make some stitches going up and down that line so it looks like it has the stitches of a football. See now it looks more like a football. All right, so we'll just weave these in back here. I'll just pull that through with my hook. There we go. And we'll cut those off. And now we'll thread this long tail of yarn that we left. And see this one, how it sewed it on a slant? Well, we'll do the same thing on this one. That one out of the way there, so I don't sew on it by accident. We'll set it across there. And we'll just go around. Now, remember, you're going to be putting this on over your head, and it's going to need just a little bit of stretch. So if you stitch it on too tightly, and not let it have just a little bit of give, it might pucker on you or not look real pretty. So make sure you give it just a little bit of stretch. And also, when you get up here in this area where there's holes, make sure you stitch in stitches, not holes, because we want our little football to stay put. And I just keep going around till I run out of yarn. Still got a little left on there, so I'll just keep going around those edges. And then when I'm happy it's going to stay put, I'll just go across here with some stitches. And cut that off. So now I have a crimson and cream or maybe a Christmas football <laughs> cow that I can give to someone who loves the Boomer Sooners and I think I know who that's going to be. And that's how you make my Denver football cowl. Now you can use it for any of your favorite school or sports teams but just by changing out the colors. And if you don't want to do it green like the field, you can do it in any color that you want to. Very versatile. And if you don't want to put a football, you could put a soccer ball, a baseball, or any team that you want to, or maybe just add some pom-poms. So it has lots of possibilities with style and color.